Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about the difference in between the pipe flow and open channel flow. Yeah, first we will talk about the pipe flow. Here we have shown one figure, so representing the pipe is full of water. Here you can see that this line is the hydraulic gradient line and this one is the total energy line. From the datum to the HGL line, uh, height is given by P1 by gamma plus Z1 and from uh, HGL to TEL it's P1 square by 2G. Now let's know more about the pipe flow. A pipe is a closed conduct which is used for carrying fluid under pressure. These pipes are generally circular in section where flow inside pipe is considered as pipe flow only when it is running full with no free surface inside it. The occurrence in the pipe flow can be either laminar flow or turbulent flow. In the same way, here we have shown the open channel flow figure representing as this. This one is the open channel flow where flow occurs in, in this way where from P1 velocity to P2 velocity. This one is the Z height from the datum to the bed slope of the channel and this one is the y up to high gradient line and this one is p1 square by 2g from total energy line. A open channel is said when the passes in which the liquid is not completely enclosed by a solid boundary but has a free surface exposed to atmosphere is called open channel flow. The flow of liquid in its open channel is called open channel flow. If flows under atmospheric pressure due to component of gravity with a free surface since this flow is always associated with a free surface it is also called as free surface flow now let's difference about the pipe flow and open channel flow in the pipe flow the total the height of the total energy line from datum can be given as z plus p by gamma plus b square by 2g whereas in the open channel flow, the height of total energy line from datum is given as Z plus Y plus P square by 2G. In the open channel flow, height of hydraulic gradient line from datum is given by P by gamma plus Z. Whereas in the open channel flow, height of hydraulic gradient line from datum is given by Z plus Y. Similarly, in pipe flow, liquid runs in full pipe. There is no any free surface inside pipe. Whereas in open channel flow, it has free surface on top. In pipe flow, the flow takes place under pressure. Whereas in open channel flow, the flow takes place Due to uniform section, of pipe, the analysis of flow is simpler as compared to open channel flow. Whereas analysis is complicated due to non-uniform slope, sorry, non-uniform bed as compared to in pipe flow, if diameter is small the surface tension force is dominant
whereas surface tension force is negligible. in uniform in open channel flow so for this time we end up the video after this month we will come again with one new video till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us and if you have any questions related to hydropower hydraulics or hydrology please do comment us thank you